Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while, but we finally can get some videos up again. Um, recently, actually it's been longer than that, um, I did a painting project for a gentleman in our community in exchange for a bunch of different orcs. Um, and here I have this part of that lot that I got for a bunch of knobs. They're obviously on the wrong size bases. I started basing them. I have the bases here. I need six more. I have them here. But I decided to do this as a video, kind of just to show you how easy this is. And if you put some time into it and a little bit of effort, you have some nice looking secondhand models that we can be redone and look really good on the tabletop. So let's just get into it. So these models were actually really, really super glued down to these bases. So they're hard to get off. Normally you can just kind of snap them off, but these are, I don't know how he, how he put them on there, but man, did he put them on there very well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and actually just cut them off. All right, so I got the base off of it. You can see how I just kind of kept trimming it down. This surface is pretty smooth now. So what I'm gonna do is take my knife and I'm going to just score. Take my my accelerator, super glue. Hold it there for a couple minutes. Actually, it's a couple seconds actually. Boom, done. All right. So I'm gonna do that with all the boys, or all these are all knobs. I'm gonna do that with all the knobs. Um, <clears throat> and we'll show that at the end of the video. But as of right now, we're just gonna concentrate on this guy. Now the next step of this is going to be taking them now you could do a couple different things you can actually prime it um, which I'm not going to do because it already looks like it has a lot of layers of paint on it I you can also strip it down if you wanted to and go down to the plastic I don't want to put that much time into it um, and especially when you have a lot especially when you're dealing with stuff like orcs where you have a lot of models you have to paint up stripping can take very time consuming especially when you have to change the bases so I'm gonna actually just use the paint that's on here as a primer and I'm going to take Abaddon Black I'm going to take my Abaddon Black and I'm going to paint everything I'm just going to paint over everything with thin layers so I don't lose some of the detail some of the detail in the face and in the teeth and around and around the model okay get my brush and everything ready here now on this, I'm just using the, let's see if we can see it. I'm just using the 
three rounds, a pretty big brush. It just is, I just wanted an area that's gonna cover an area pretty quickly. Whatever you have that's a big brush that you feel comfortable with, go ahead and use. Man, that's some bad lighting here. So basically I'm just gonna take all this and I'm just gonna cover this whole entire model in Abaddon Black. Be right back. All right guys, welcome back. So I got, I got this guy all painted up um, with my Abaddon Black and I'm gonna grab my e.l.f. makeup brush which I've shown you guys this before. I'm gonna do some dry brushing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dry brush the entire model with Storm Vermin Fur. Okay, now that these all dry brushed, I'm going to come in here now and I'm going to actually do a skin in Death Guard Green. So this is just going to be a skin. So Okay guys, I'm back after I did the green on the on the skin. So I covered all those all of them with the green. The Nurgle green. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some uh, dry, uh, druid bark and I'm gonna do the leather. All the leather pieces which are gonna be here, some inside here, in there, and this strap here. All right, and then I'm gonna, then I'm going to be back. All right, guys, off camera, I did some lead belcher on the obvious of all the silver parts here, here, here. I also used um, Vallejo heavy red for. There we go, heavy red. Um, for the for obviously the the red parts then what I did was took a little bit of a dry brush and just kind of on my you can see the little bit of mix on the metal I took a little bit of red lead belcher just on a dry brush and just kind of hit it like this just to show some of the chips there I touched up his teeth with uh, the cataract cataract stone uh, which is this that's the teeth the teeth and nails and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the whole model the whole model with some Adrat earth shade I'm going to go over top of the whole model Okay guys, I finished putting on the Adirax Earth Shade. You can see I just covered it. I, I just, There was a lot on it. I didn't thin it out. Um, I just put a lot on. Orcs are dirty, so 
I just wanted I wanted to really get the uh, the effect of at least the way I'm doing these orcs are dirty. Again, just an idea. But I I didn't mention this earlier. You can see that I put some screaming skull on the bullets um, as well. So, all right, now we're gonna do the skin, which is a big part of what what makes orcs orcs is how doing their skin, making it look pretty realistic. So I'm gonna use this Lauren. Let's see if I can see it. Lauren Forest and or yeah, Lauren Forest. And I'm gonna use Strack and Green to, for some highlights. So first, I'm gonna start with the the Lauren Forest. And then, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually kind of thin this out. So let me bring my web palette over here so you can see it. Okay, so I'm gonna take this Lauren Forest Put some on my, put some on my um, wet palette, and then I'm gonna thin this out. So I'm gonna get a nice thin layer because I don't want this to be too thick. I want it to just kind of give it. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but that's what we want to do. We just want to make it real thin. Then we're gonna go over spots, and you can see the head part of it we're going to just just go hit some of these raised spots and then go in some of these raised spots here kind of just drop this back a little bit Anything that there's some raised area, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out. So, a little bit here. I'm actually putting it on the top of his head because the Edrax did not, um, it didn't, it didn't go on real, real neat. It went on kind of splotchy and I didn't catch it. Okay, so then I'm going to over the bridge of his nose. Around his eyes here. So basically I'm picking up, I'm picking up anything that's going to be raised area where the light's gonna reflect basically. Around his teeth, right here in his chin. Some of his lips there. highlighting some of this muscle you can see I'm not doing the whole thing just some of the areas that are raised too much on there because I'm not trying to cover up his muscle what I'm trying to do is just Too wet. I don't want to see how it's pulling right there. I don't want it to pull. I 
I also don't want all that earth shade to be covered up. I just want it to be translucent. I want this to be translucent. I'm only doing the tops of the veins. Yeah, this guy is not highlighted. You see the difference? See how that skin looks a little bit more realistic. It's got a little bit more color in there. Okay, now what we're gonna do is now what we're gonna do is put in there. We're gonna use the Strachan Green. And what we're gonna do is hit the edge highlights, but we're not gonna edge highlight to make it really, really stand out like the line, like you see on a lot of things do. We're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna water down or thin out, however you wanna thin out. Sometimes I thin out, I like to thin out with uh, thinner. I don't always like to thin out with water. So now with the tracking green, which is a little bit lighter, I'm just gonna hit some of the raised areas. And I'm not gonna outline it. I'm just hitting like the top of the ear, stuff that's with this. You don't want to go like all the way there, all the way there. You're just hitting areas of it, right? Just a couple of little lines there, little lines here. Just to get a little bit of a shine. See like on this knuckle? Just there. You know, just a little bit of a shine here. Using the side of my brush. See, I just got too much there. I just got too much there. I'm hoping that just, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually take some water. Oop. Bring my brush up a little bit. Try to lift something of that out of there. Pull it down. See, if I went like this, I made a definite line. So now I took some of that water and tried to pull this line out of there. Pull some of that moisture down you're really I'm really looking to do this striking green just in some places like get right here maybe a little bit right here the way the muscles flowing no maybe here here back of the head there so that, that's it see how little that was how little that was makes a big difference now we're going to highlight some of the silver and i'm going to use as you can see it storm hole storm hole silver okay now this is uh really really bright and i don't want all i want to do is take a little bit of this just put enough on my brush. Just enough to like right, right here at the tip. Just gonna touch it a little bit. Give it a little bit of shine.
Notice I didn't paint the whole earring, I just painted the top. I think sometimes we run into problems with the highlighting that we decide we're just going to paint everything. Okay, and now after you're done doing all those highlights, we move on. We're going to get some of this technical paint. And you guys hear me pronouncing names, I'm not going to even attempt that one. But this, uh, this technical paint is going to um, just add another little effect on it. Now right, guys, here's my basing. Obviously just some um, some uh, PVA glue, some sand, and some mini rocks. So we got going on, we're gonna base with. Use one of my basing tools. Got all my stuff over here. We're gonna actually zoom this in. Another basing tool, toothpick, or uh, Okay guys, I got all the um, all the base covering glued onto, it's just sand glued onto, PVA onto, um, onto this base. I put a little rock in there as well. And now we're gonna, what we're gonna do is go into doing his base. And I'm gonna start with Screaming Skull. Give it a nice little coat on there. Then I'm gonna move to Sephora Sepia. And then we're gonna throw in some Adrax Earthshade for our shadow. And then we're going to dry brush with Screaming Skull again. Okay. While we're waiting for that to dry, we're going to take some Abaddon Black and I'm going to paint the cylinder around the base. I'll clean it up on a second coat. See how it's uneven? I'll try to clean that up. Get a better, uh, better line across there. What's important on these is that we only give it a thin coat. Okay, now that the sepia is dry a little bit, I'm going to take the earth shade 
and we're gonna create some shadow with the earth shade. So in other words, if you look down, this is a good thing that I have bright lights here. You see where the shadow is here? You're gonna have some, you can have some right in here, uh, right underneath them, essentially nothing in the back. So get a little bit on my brush here and right under the rock, you'll have some shadow there. Right, you see how it's coming on? It's hard to see this, but you'll have some shadow here. Okay, so we got that all done. Now no one will be mad if you stopped right here. I think that's pretty uh, acceptable to put on a tabletop, a little bit more than tabletop. But what we're gonna do is just take it one more step and I'm gonna do his eyes and evil suns. And I'm gonna highlight some of the leather here. I'm gonna highlight some of that in uh, Murder Fang Brown. Now to do is eyes. I get a thin brush. There you go, finished orc. I have um, I have a bunch of these I'm doing. Here's another one. Part another one. I was I was I was cleaning up. I showed you that in the beginning of this video. I'll be putting him up. I got another one done. Now the important thing is after I'm done with all this, after I'm done with every model. I use uh, Vallejo's matte varnish because as we go along, we touch it with our hands and it gets greasy, it rubs the paint off and we don't want to do that, so. All right guys, again, thanks for coming, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy these videos and as always, God bless, peace out.